after three o'clock in the morning. I'm just about ready to go to the airport, actually. I have to wake up Shane since he is very generously offering to drive me. Let's go to Disney World. first in line to check my bag because I'm over prepared uh, <laughs> got there as early as I could pretty much and got through security in less than five minutes so this is why I like the early flights I'm familiar with this um, I think if I was going somewhere else somewhere unfamiliar I would be a little more nervous but I've made this trip a ton of times I'm not nervous <laughs> I just brought out a therapy dog to pet, so I'm gonna pet this dog. And welcome to Orlando. That was a very smooth flight. We had a bachelorette party. They were really interested in talking about their bachelorette adventures surrounded by kids. <laughs> so that was weird, but we're here. Perfect timing, just as I walk up. So it is the train, but it doesn't walk it. Rolls. A lot of people make that joke that this is the first ride of the trip. I'm not gonna make that joke. I'm not gonna do it. First ride of the trip. like to stop at the airport Disney's gift store in this um, terminal B bag claim wherever this is I don't know um, but it literally just closes doors like a couple days ago for a total refurbishment so here's the store this is normally where you would be able to take your picture with that mural I guess of uh, Mickey Mouse and the castle and all the park emblems but it's gone All right, let's head down to Magical Express. Uh, give them my baggage claim ticket number thing because I didn't um, have enough time to get the yellow tags in the mail. So as long as I have my ticket number, they'll be able to take my bags from baggage claim here to my resort hotel at Disney. There's a bunch of people about to go on a cruise. Not me, sometime in the future, but not right now. Let's go on the Magical Express. Look at this line. Jeez. Crowded. Princess, how are you doing today? Welcome to Magical Express. Thank you. Uh, let's see, you are not Zachary. No, not this time. So you are Amy. That's right. So that's really easy. If you don't get those yellow tags in time, um, if you happen to book your Magical Express late or something where they can't send it to your house, all you have to do is retain your baggage claim ticket number from uh, your luggage and they'll punch it into the system. They'll go pick it up and bring it right to your resort room. So, man, this line, I just... but actually there's um, footrests in every seat on the Magical Express and there's USB chargers in between the seats right in front of you so you can charge your stuff on the way over. And 
welcome home to Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. All right, we are checked into the hotel. I opted out of mousekeeping so that we would get a gift card instead. I know that the value resorts do that. Um, I don't know how long they'll be doing that for, if that's a forever thing or if it's just, um, I, I don't know. But um, now I'm gonna hit the bathroom and change because I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie and yeah, it's Florida, it's gonna be hot. But after that, I get to go right onto the bus. I don't need to check any luggage. My room's not quite ready yet because I get here super early. And um, I'm going to Magic Kingdom. We've got sunscreen on, we've got shorts on, we are good to go. Now I need to eat some food. So, world premiere food court it is. Oh, this is my place. I love this place. I know I should have a piece of fruit or a sandwich or something healthy, but mini strawberry shortcake cupcake? Yep, yep. Mickey celebration cupcake? I'll try uh, Minnie's strawberry shortcake. I know I should get something healthy, but it's Disney and I could not resist this little cupcake. This is Minnie's Strawberry Shortcake Cupcake. It looks super cute. Um, I think this is probably just like a white chocolate. And it has little crispy balls and pink, um, pink frosting with sparkles. Very sparkly, let's try it. Ooh, you can see the strawberry oozing out. Yes. Ooh, well I was gonna try and bite the bow first, but it's all kind of stuck together here. Because it was cold, everything's sticking together. Yeah, the bow is just a white chocolate. Delicious. Bite of the shortcake part of the cupcake. I didn't get any strawberry in it, but let's, uh, let's try. Ooh. Okay, halfway through the cupcake, you can see that that strawberry is just in the center. Um, the cake itself is very dense and moist and delicious and vanilla-y. And the frosting, because it's cold, it's kind of a little more stiff than I like frosting, but I like frosting no matter what. Um, it's very strawberry-y. This is very sweet and very good. That cupcake was delicious. That was super, super sweet. Um, thinking back to all the cupcakes I've had on Disney property, that might be one of the best ones. Uh, usually I go after like chocolate. I'm a big chocolate person. But, I don't know, I wasn't feeling chocolate. I was feeling shortcake. Um, I would recommend this if you like sweet things. If you don't like something very sweet, you probably won't like that. It was very strawberry, very vanilla, and um, very sweet. There was a lot of buttercream frosting on it. So let's go walk around the resort a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go to Magic Kingdom today. and My resort room is not ready yet, but I kind of still just want to do a stroll around the resort and get some, uh, get some views and pictures and stuff. Let's go. buses and we're going there next after I buy these ears. Now approaching the Magic Kingdom. It just feels right to do the Magic Kingdom on your first day. It's 
a little strange to be making this walk all by myself. I've never, never been here alone before. I love it. <laughs> Let's get through bag check and we'll uh, reconvene. A lot of people signing up for the Pirates League. I've seen a, public, a ton of people doing it. Um, it's something that I actually considered doing today or maybe Monday, but uh, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm just kind of going by how I feel. I think Splash is down today, which is weird. It's a hot day and it would probably be sucking up a lot of people that are in the parks, but I don't know. That's not too bad. It stinks. Luckily, Big Thunder Mountain is not down because I have a fast pass for it, and that's where I'm headed right now. Wow, the fast pass line is really long. I'm walking to the end of the fast pass line. Ah, is this worth it? The regular wait is a 110 minute wait, so I'm thinking the fast pass line will probably still be like. 50 minutes or so. Haven't reached the end yet. Yeah, that's just a little too long for my relaxing stroll through Magic Kingdom, so um, I'll see if I can maybe remake that fast pass while I go sit down and eat right now. worth stopping to appreciate things like that. Take your time, go slow. Details are insane. Enjoy the ambiance, the screaming children. Pecos Bill is crowded inside. There was, I think, two free tables and they're, they're big family tables, so I didn't want to take up an entire table. So I came outside, it's a lot quieter out here anyway. Um, usually when I go to Pecos Bill, I get like the beef nachos, adult size, but uh, I went with the kid size. I did it because I'm not that hungry and just the applesauce, I don't Why does the applesauce sound so good? And milk? Milk sounds amazing. I, so I'm feeling like a little kid. You also get a little um, cutie mandarin with a kid's meal. So. That's cool. I also got a cup of ice water, full free. And of course I loaded up my nachos from the Toppins bar. I got salsa, I got cheese, I got lettuce. And I'm getting a phone call from my husband. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. These nachos are the bomb. It's, they're perfect. Uh, the beef is really tasty. They smother them in queso. And then you go to the Toppings bar and you add whatever you want. Highly recommend Pecos Bill. Highly recommend the nachos. Um, milk tastes like milk. Go, go, squeeze. I haven't gotten there yet, so I'll let you know that in the future. And Pecos Bill is the best. It still is my favorite. And I have a fast pass for 
haunted mansion. So I swapped out Big Thunder Mountain since that was just way too long. Um, couldn't get another Big Thunder Mountain, so I got a Monsters Inc. lap floor just to have something. I don't even know if I'll use it, but now it's time for Haunted Mansion. Probably when I come out, it will be pouring. And I'm wondering if I should take a break back at the hotel, because I do want to be up for fireworks. Hi. And I've been up since 2 a.m., so <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Zach and I have reservations on Monday for the Diamond Horseshoe. I am really excited to eat there. I think it's an all-you-can-enjoy buffet thing. And it sounds like it's barbecue and yeah, that sounds good to me. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's a restaurant that I've never been to before. Liberty Tree Tavern here, I don't know. It's just Thanksgiving food, I think. Also, all you can care to enjoy. I don't know why there's two buffets right next to each other, but okay then. Oh my lord. Not entirely sure what I'm looking at. I think I know what this line is for. I think there's a Haunted Mansion 50 pin that everybody's trying to get. This line stretches around Memento Mori and through Tangled and I can't see the end, so. Got out of Hounded Mansion, I got my photo pass, and it is still not raining, but looks like it wants to. So I still think I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I need a break. Um, I haven't done very much today. All I've done so far is Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, and Pecos Bill. <laughs> but that's all right, it's okay. We're going slow this trip, and we're loving it. It's not about how many rides you get in. I think. It, these trips used to be all about the rides for me, and then once you do the rides over and over again, by day five, you kind of get like, well, there's nothing else to do. That's a wrong way of thinking. A lot of people think that Disney World is for kids because there's a lot of kids' rides here, and the rides are just not the whole picture. There's so much more to it. There's so much more to do. Just enjoy the ambiance. There's dining, there's shows, there's all kinds of things. Like, just walking around and watching and taking things in. That's the best. That being said, even though I'm not running around and I'm going slowly and just enjoying things, it's still super hot. And I've been up since two, so I am tired. I am gonna go back to the hotel now, take a little break, kinda wait for some rain to blow over, and then I'll come back into the park later, um, try and get Space Mountain in, and watch the fireworks. I gotta find a good way out, like the parade is coming. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll kind of hang out at the, the entrance and watch somewhere near the train station, just so I can see it, because I haven't seen Maleficent in a couple years since she injured herself. You guys. Come on. This is what I come here for. I mean, obviously it's a little more magical with water in it, but still. <laughs> Even though I'm going slow today, it still feels like I'm rushing. And uh, I think it's just because there's so much walking distance in between everything. Uh, my feet are hurting. Oh my gosh, Judy. Pops. And what's his name? I'm really embarrassed right now. What the heck is his name? Well, they're meeting. <laughs> Nick Wilde. It's Nick Wilde. That's his name. It's fine. Hey, guess what? All Star Movies is the furthest bus that it could possibly be. It's so far away. Pop Century, Ulster Movies, Ulster Music, they're all the furthest away, and I get it, you know, it's a value resort. Pay a little less, and you have to walk a little further, it makes sense. 
but I still don't like it. All right, quit bitching. Okay, let's try and find our room. We're super VIP, which is why we stay in the preferred section of the value resort. They ran out of Grand Floridian rooms for us, so I'm in a green army man bucket. Where are all the green army men? Almost there. Oh yeah, this is awesome. We're like the third door from the front. This is good. Good stuff. Ready? Work. No. Oh, these updated rooms, they are so clean and nice. Where's the light switch? Oh. That might be a problem. Huh, okay. So this room is different from the upgraded room that my mom and I stayed at on the same resort. Um, it still has two beds. So don't worry, that was like the most important thing because I'm here with my friend. <laughs> uh, this is a Murphy bed that pulls down. I don't have the energy to do that right now. Over here is the same, you got a TV, you got a little closet. But then there's just one big bathroom instead of the toilet and shower being separate from the sink. It might not be a problem. He showers at night, I shower in the morning. We'll be okay. So two beds and there's tons of USB chargers in this room too. Like they're everywhere. So this is good stuff. The uh, these are definitely they feel like a better value for the value resorts than the old rooms do. Uh, you know they're cleaner, they're updated, they're 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 good. And value resorts are getting expensive. So what are you gonna do? But now I need very desperately to take a nap. Good night. Florida storms are crazy. Literally the thunder just woke me up from this nap. I was just on the phone with the luggage services because my luggage hasn't arrived from Magical Express and I've never had it take this long before and I'm a little nervous. So luggage services called me back. They said um, the luggage was delayed and they didn't clarify whether it was on Buffalo's end. She said, we'll get it to you. We just don't know when. And I said, okay, should I expect it tonight? And she said, oh, I can't make any promises. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that my luggage gets to me tonight so that I can wear clean clothes tomorrow because that would be nice. I'm trying to stay positive that my luggage arrives. <laughs> and yeah, I think it'll come through. I think the Disney magic will come through. But so I'm back on my way to Magic Kingdom now. And we're back at Magic Kingdom, just like that. It's so easy. Ding. I need some dinner. And I already did Pago Spill, which is my favorite. And I feel like Magic Kingdom needs better quick service restaurants. So I'm gonna do Columbia Harbor House. I like Columbia Harbor House. I want something fried, French fries, fried fish, fried chicken nuggets, and hush puppies. Yeah, that sounds good. So this is the construction to widen the path that goes through Sleepy Hollow into the back side of the castle into Fantasyland. Not very magical, but it'll be better. Don't worry, you can still get your Nutella waffle. Sleepy Hollow is open, but the walkway closed. Man, that line at Memento Mori is still long as heck. People really want that merchandise. Columbia Harbor House for dinner or lunch is awesome. It's like seafood, but they have chicken nuggets, um, hush puppies, they have a lobster roll, which I've wanted to try, but not this trip. So I just got everything brown. I got some fried fish, some chicken nuggets, these are hush puppies, and french fries. And they have honey mustard and barbecue sauce to dip. So. That's what I'm rocking. 
of an awesome view. There's a lot of really good seating upstairs that have nice views like that, so if you can get a table upstairs, I recommend it. Just don't spill your lidless drink on the way up. I feel like I remember this portion size being bigger last time I did this. I'm totally going to eat as I talk to you because I'm starving. And I think maybe last time they just gave us way more fries. Because it's still just like four chicken nuggets, three hush puppies, and two fish things. I feel like that's what I got last time, but it looks smaller, so it must be the french fry thing. I don't know what a hush puppy is, but I know it's good. I had a little bit of trouble deciding where to eat dinner tonight. Because I think Magic Kingdom just doesn't have very good quick service options. Can't open this barbecue sauce. Um, I like to have somewhere indoors or at least somewhere with a nice table to sit at instead of feeling super claustrophobic. Like, uh, I think it's not claustrophobic, but like the lunching pad, it just feels so busy. Pinocchio Village House doesn't really have anything I'm interested in. Oh my, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Hi! How does that even work? Hi! How are you? I did a real! Making my way over to Winnie the Pooh. I just tried to FaceTime Shane. Let's see if it works. Ah, it won't do the connection. Um, walking around here at night, I don't usually do Fantasyland a lot. Um, I'm usually hanging out in Frontierland, Adventureland, Tomorrowland. I'm not in Frontier or Fantasyland that often. But at night, this place is awesome. There are much fewer kids here at night and it's just beautiful. So I don't know how well the GoPro is doing in the dark, but I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. So I'm still trying to decide if I'm actually going to stay for fireworks or if I should call it a night early, just because it's a little bit crazy uh, trying to get out of here after fireworks. And I really have to get some sleep. I did not get a whole lot of sleep. So, I don't know, man. I'm still playing with the idea. I just feel like this is such a relaxing trip that the idea of fighting crowds to get out of Magic Kingdom from the way back of Magic Kingdom, it'll, it'll easily take me like an hour and a half to get home after that. So maybe I'll just uh, walk through this real quick and try and beat the crowds out and watch uh, Happily Ever After as I leave. Let's go play in the Hundred Acre Wood. I heard that it's a blustery day, but that there is honey and good friends, and that sounds good to me.
ride always makes me smile. I just can't not smile when I'm on the ride. It's so cute. I'm gonna skip the fireworks tonight, and that feels so wrong and so weird, but I just know that the hassle of trying to get out of here after fireworks is gonna be too great. And I don't wanna be stressed out. I wanna be relaxed. So, ooh, Cheshire Cat Tail? No, Amy, no more snacks. <laughs> So yeah, today was a weird Magic Kingdom day. It was my first day in the parks completely alone. I traveled here on an airplane alone. I did the Magical Express alone. I came to the hotel alone and then I came to the parks alone. And it was just, I've always wanted to do a solo trip. So it's not like it felt wrong or like I didn't enjoy it. It was just different. I love coming to Disney with my husband. Shane is my favorite person to be here with. My mom is another favorite person to be here with. Me and Zach are gonna be here, just me and him. I've been here with him before, but not just the two of us. So, being here by myself, it's nice to have the freedom. You get to choose where you wanna go, where you wanna eat, what ride you wanna ride. You just make your own schedule. Go at your own pace. If you wanna run, you run. If you wanna meander or sit, you do it. And this is, this is how I imagine being, not quite like this, but this is sort of how I imagine being a local would be like. Oh, people mover? No, I think I'll save the people mover for Zach. But if you're a resident, you can come and just do a couple things, nitpick here and there. You don't feel the pressure <laughs> to run around and do everything all at once. And I feel like my trips have always felt so rushed because I'm working to get as many things in as I possibly can because I don't know when I'm gonna be back next. And so I wanted this trip to, I don't know, just be slower and more relaxed and just not feel so insane. Especially because I only have four days. You can't get everything done in four days. So I came here with the expectation of if I ride a ride, that's a bonus, but really, I just want to be here. So I just wanted to be and exist in my happy place, and that's why this weekend, I just, I don't know, I'm going slow. I'm not, I don't want to be disappointed by things, so I'm not disappointed that I'm missing fireworks tonight. So we're going at our own pace. We are going back to the hotel for the evening. Tomorrow we start bright and early at Animal Kingdom where we have extra magic hours. But that'll do it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining in the magic. Strange as it was. And I'll see you tomorrow.